Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the steering wheel vibrations at high speeds. Now let's see how the car acts on the highway. Alright, so this is where I'm feeling the vibrations. If I let off the gas pedal, the vibrations disappear, which tells me that there's going to be a problem with the drive shafts. Also, if I exceed certain speeds of, let's say, 140 kilometers an hour, the vibrations die down. So that's that sweet spot around 120 kilometers an hour where the vibrations are uh, at their strongest. I'm uh, suspecting that I got a bad inner CV joints, spiders, tripods, whatever you want to call them. But before I do anything, I got to make sure that none of the other components are bad. You can easily check that yourself. Uh, you can move the wheel from left to right and see if there's any play. This is a great way to check your inner and outer tie rod ends. Also, if you got any play, uh, that could indicate a bad wheel bearing. Now, if you want to check your ball joints, do the same thing but move the wheel up and down now the wheels check out there is no movement whatsoever now one of the most common issues for the wheel vibration are going to be unbalanced wheels so of course you're going to make sure that your wheels are balanced also uneven tire wear could produce similar results now you also want to make sure that your engine mounts are good, they can produce a variety of issues. I've replaced two of mine recently and I've inspected the third one so I'll know that they're good. Now you also got to make sure that your CV joints are good. Now when they go bad it will usually manifest through the clicking sound when you are turning. I'm sure that these are good and as I said my main suspicion is uh, that these tripods or inner CV joints are gonna be bad. Now if I check for the play here, and these tripods, I don't know how well can you hear it, but there's definitely some play and it's basically the same situation on the other side as well. Now some play is gonna be tolerated, but this is definitely too much. Now I'm gonna proceed to replace the tripods and here in the workshop menu you got the whole process explained thoroughly. You also got the specifications for the lubricants as well as the quantity. On the right side you got all of the torque specs for all of the screws. Now as I said you got the whole process explained here. However I'm not gonna follow it. I'm not gonna remove the complete drive shafts. I'm just gonna remove this part to uncover the tripods that I need to replace. Otherwise, I would have to uh, remove the oil from the gearbox and I don't really want to do that since I replaced the oil recently. If you want to get your own copy of this workshop manual, I'll put the link down in the description below. I'm going to remove the wheel. Next, I'm going to separate these tabs here for this main nut. Now I'm gonna take the center cap off of the wheel, I'm gonna put the wheel back on and I'm gonna undo this nut right here. So this is gonna be a size 36. Make sure to clean the thread as best as you can. This can be a nightmare to remove. Now if the tie rod then gets stuck in this piece right here, don't smack it too hard with a hammer. This is aluminum part and you can damage it. Next, we gotta remove this screw right here for the ball joint. Again, make sure you clean everything and spray everything with the WD-40. Now 
I will also have to work the screw a little bit because they usually get stuck inside. So just make sure you push it back and forth a couple of times. All right, there it is. And here it finally is, just to give you a fair warning, this ball joint can fuse with the aluminum housing and it can be a nightmare to remove. I'm just gonna push the drive shaft in now. Now keep in mind that if it gets stuck hit it with a brass hammer or with something softer, you don't wanna mushroom out this outer part. You won't be able to put the nut back on it. First of all, I do feel a little bit of play here. All right, time to remove the tripod. I don't know how well you can see it, but we got a ring here that we got to remove first. All right, there it is. Now, usually these slide on very easily, but uh, to remove them, I am gonna put this bolt here and i'm gonna use this tool if you don't have a tool like this you can just hammer it off it uh, should come off pretty easily i don't know how well can you can see it but it's coming out Now the one thing that you gotta pay attention to, you can see how this side is all flat. Now on the other side, we got this concave edge and uh, you gotta make sure that that edge goes on the inside. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna clean everything really well and I'm gonna put the new tripod back in. Now time to put the new grease in. So we went over the specifications, try to get the right stuff. All right, now it's time to put a new tripod in. As I said, the concave side is gonna go on the inside. So again, pay attention to that. Now, if it goes a bit harder as it goes here, just get a socket and lightly tap it on. And you can hear how the sound changes when the tripod reaches the end. Right, time for the new ring. You can make sure that your ring is seated properly. Now we're gonna grease up the tripod and we're gonna be pretty much done after i uh, grease this up it's time to put everything back together now when you are putting the metal clamp on this boot on the left side there really isn't much space to use a conventional plier so you're gonna have to use these right here but uh, still they work like charm So I got no more movement in the drive shaft whatsoever. Now, of course, I have to test drive the car. I couldn't wait till the morning and 
as you can see right here I am getting no vibrations whatsoever so our replacement of the tripod so the problem the one thing that uh, I gotta warn you about do not take this uh, little job lightly it is kind of hard to do if you don't have a lift so I suggest that uh, you rather if you are in that situation pay somebody to do this for you anyway that would be all for this video i hope you find it useful if you did hit that like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of car enthusiasts